after me. And it was about horses. It was about a white horse. It was galloping freely. And I didn't understand what that really meant. You know what? I, I asked my cousin what that meant, you know, what the dream meant by the horse just galloping. And when I told him about the dream, he told me that Jesus is coming back to the horse. And I was like, wow. <laughs> what a dream that I had, that Jesus is coming back on the horse. You see, some people believe, and some people don't believe. And that was my vision. And I had to tell somebody about it. He's riding a white horse. So, what I saw was, you know, in my mind, I saw the vision of the horse, not really understanding what it meant. Well, later that week, I had a visit from two nuns. They were relatives of my friend. And it was the best, the best ever visit I could have ever had in my life. Like... They talk to me, I explain to them that I see these visions and I explain to them which some of the dreams and what they were and they knew what came from God. You know, to me it doesn't matter what religion you are. You could be any religion and God's here. God's, God can help you. God can help help you. He can, he can see everything that's happening, right? It's like the cup of blood that you take in, in Catholic Church that you drink. You know, it's, it's like Christ is really there. It's like you're taking part of Christ. That's like what you feel. You know, that's what I feel. God's preparing his army. You know, and he really is. He's preparing his army. You know. What do the white horses mean? You know, there's a reference to it in a Bible where it just tells you everything. It tells you about it. It tells you that it's found in Revelation, in the book. And God's wearing a crown. And he's going to run and he's going to run until he gets here. And he's going to be there for you. So you have to see him a certain way when he comes. And that's how he's coming. What do the white horses mean? The reference to the white horses are found in more than one place in the Bible. I just study scriptures and ask advice to pray and determine the meaning. This dream had happened sometime after my conversation with the two ones who came to visit my house. They came to visit on a weekend. There's only one, one that's coming back, and that's Jesus. Think about the blood he shed. Think about everything that you're going to you're going to see when he gets back here. Trust me. There's a storm coming. 
And that storm you're not going to want to see. It's really big. When you stand there and you watch, you're going to see that you've got to be ready. You've got to be ready for Jesus. Because God is preparing his army just for you. So when you think about it, imagine a vision of a white horse coming down from the sky and it's Jesus Christ. You see, he's coming as a warrior. He's not coming peacefully. You've destroyed our world. You've ruined it. You've done everything that you shouldn't do. You haven't given a ground to rest. You've built all these buildings, which is not supposed to be so many. You've done so much to this world that it's fallen apart. What do you think he's, what do you think he's thinking? You've done all these things you shouldn't do. What do you think he's thinking? He's not thinking what a good job you did. He's not thinking what a great job you did securing my world. He's not. You know, so when you think about it, you've destroyed his world. You have totally destroyed it from the people you know, you stop a person, they don't even believe in God now. If if I'm going to stop a person on the street and say, do you believe in God? Half of them will tell you no. More than half will tell you no. Where are we going? we got to go somewhere. You know, we have to. But when you see him come down from the sky, you'll realize... I, I talked to a woman yesterday. I was taking my book around. And I said to her, I have a book about God. She said, I don't believe in God. I said, you don't believe in God? How do you think you got here? My mother. How do you think your mother got here? Ah. Uh, you see, all of it happened. All of it was for real. If you can go to history class and read about Julius Caesar, aren't you reading about someone in the Bible? Think about it. So, God in his horse, he's coming down. And that's a warning. He's coming. He has fire in his eyes and a sword in his hand. He's riding a white horse all across this land. He has fire in his eyes and a sword in his hand. Mm. And he's riding a white horse. Across this land He has fire in his eyes And a sword in his hand And he's riding a white horse All across this land And he's calling out to you and me Will you ride with me? He's calling out to you and me Ride with you stand up and fight We will We say yes We will stand up and fight We will ride 
home is a heaven We'll be dressed in white We say yes, Lord We will ride He's a crown on his head Carries a scepter in his hand And is leading the armies All across this land He's calling out to you and me Yes Will you ride with me? We say yes We will ride with you Right by his side That fire in his eyes Burning in desire Ride with him Right by his side And he's calling out to you and me Will you ride with me? Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. We will ride. We will ride. We will ride. We'll fight the army. We'll be with him all the way to the end. He's coming back in battle. He's not coming here to shake your hand. He's coming here to shake you right. We will ride. It's going to be a war with all the white horses. And the one horse that will ride in the front. Jesus is the name not going to stand for anything else that's going on in this world. God reigns forever and ever, forever and ever, we will Yes, Lord. Yes. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. Right. Innocence and a warrior. It's something to think about. Jesus is coming back. And when he comes back this time, you have to be prepared to walk like Jesus. So what do white horse mean? The white horse means Jesus is coming back soon. And that's what I have to think about. Buy my book, The Prophet Zone, at barnesandnoble.com. It's here. It's here. You can get it. And it tells you the truth. It tells you everything you ever wanted to know.